So here's a quick update on the mess I got going on over here. Pulled uh, all the metal except for that roof roof off the this bus right here. And what I think I'm going to do is I got a plasma cutter coming today, and I'm thinking about just cutting right here all the way over and welding up a trailer hitch onto this thing and just pulling this section less the front part right here with with my van I'm gonna have to cut it back a little bit it's gonna be too big for that thing to handle um, but I'm trying to get the yard over here cleaned up I know it's hard to really tell that but I got a small trailer that I've got here that came from a uh, pop-up camper I guess was maybe about 15 feet or so uh, trailer length is 13 feet from the tail right there to right here where the bend begins it's 13 so I'm just piling metal up on here to take that to the dump and when I come back the next time around I'm hoping maybe I could just pull this cab part of this bus over on it maybe I don't know do something crazy over here kind of got sort of cleaned up just gonna have to cut the uh, I'm gonna cut this up. The crazy thing is I had a guy that um, actually has already paid in full for the rear end and the front end for this thing but you know what he's not shown up and he doesn't contact me or nothing. I'm not kidding. The guys paid me $1,350 uh, for these axles and drive shaft and a couple other little parts and the dude's never showed up. Um, so I'm about done holding on to this because he told me he would be here in March to get it. And I've not heard from him since February. So uh, today's March, or today's May 15. So I think I've held on to it long enough. It's back on the market. If somebody needs a rear end, well, listen, contact me. Listen, here's a good one. I'll let it go for $100 even. Um, but anyway, I don't know how many trips it's going to take to that trailer, but I'm going to try and get this crap out of here. Finally get the yard cleaned up. And if you look, we got us a little Japanese maple and some raspberry plants and a little rose bush right there. Check all that out there, y'all. This yard's finally looking uh, a little more decent. Uh, got all the metal hauled off the top of that bus that's sitting on the deck of it. Uh, had a pile of metal over here. It's all of it is on that trailer um, so far at about five dollars per hundred I've hauled out two hundred dollars worth of metal up to this point I'm thinking there's at least eight hundred dollars here worth so we'll see if I'm right or not but I gotta cut up this bus here it's other than engine transmission and body it still hold the frame and rolling gear. Listen here, it's uh, rear end's been cut off. And we got a big section of frame rail sitting there. And I'm probably just gonna back my trailer up right there on the other side of it and use the winch to roll it over onto the trailer as it is, hopefully. And I got this much of the body left of that second one. And Yesterday, I just took off the front axle and I actually sold this thing, but the guy never communicated with me any further, so I got to sell it and throw it in the trash, too. Hey, it was like that, but if you're not going to come get your stuff six months after paying for it, don't expect me to just keep hanging on to it. I did keep the front tires off of it because I'm going to take those and use that on the next truck I get, and I'm going to do the same with the back tires. I don't know what the status of the tires is on that bus, but when I get to cutting it, I'll figure that part out and act accordingly. This fuel tank here, I'm actually gonna put that into the bus I got built for an RV over there. So I have two fuel tanks, a 100 gallon, and I think this one's a 75 gallon. Maybe it is a 100 gallon, though, who knows. So right here's the sticker. Oh, capacity, 70 gallons, seven zero. Not 75, my bad. That's definitely the original tank, March of, wait, it, 
That's not the original fuel tank for this bus. <laughs> it says March of 2010. It's not focusing very good, but that is what it says. Anyway, so they put this fuel tank in after this bus was about nine years old. I figured. I bet it did rust away. No wonder that these bolts right here weren't too bad to get out. I thought these things would be awful, but my old half impact cheap harbor freight impact gun was able to snack them off there. And I uh, got an air conditioner compressor sitting, up, sitting here where the house needed a new air conditioning heating unit. And I don't know what else I got. There's all kinds of stuff that's probably going to shake loose. But this is the primary large portion of it here that I got to get. And I'm just using this little 13 by 6 trailer. In case y'all haven't ever seen the stickers, it's on the back of my rod. That one, abortion is murder. I just got that one not long ago. I need to put my other new ones on there. I got lost fragile handle with prayer and uh, if God your co-pilot switch seats <laughs> then on the back of this rod I got all these pictures or stickers on there don't do any crosses or fish imagery it's about the name Jesus not about imagery So, hopefully in another week or two, all this stuff's going to be gone. I don't know what I'm doing about this yet. Well, thanks for watching, my friends and viewers and even my enemies. I love y'all. Y'all are most dear to me. It's all that matter in life's people. It's not junk. If I can help you, there's the comment section below. As always, I want to praise my Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. May he richly bless and guide you and your families. God is on home to glory. Love y'all. Take care.